Now I want to show you something about the workflow of Dialogsevo. So I will show you how to make a real planning with Dialogsevo, how to create a whole building and doing the lighting design. Well, imagine you just received a DWG drawing from an architect, for example, and you should do now the planning with Dialogs Evo. So we start once again here with our start screen. And we've got here the possibility to load a DWG file. I click on this functionality and we get here a file opening dialog. I select the DWG. I just received, it's an LED manufacturer, DWG file, I can open it and after a few seconds we see here the DWG drawing, Dialux automatically opens the tool that is required for this job and you see here the ground plan of our small project with a, a few rooms. Here in the 3D view we can see that it's just a flat information, so we have to recreate this building. We've got here the possibility to um, select and unselect several of the layers. So I now deselect some of the layers that I don't need for my construction here in Dialogs. Now we start to recreate the building from the DWG drawing. So we need the site tool because in the site tool I can create new buildings. We've got this action here. I click now on the action to create a new building and creating a building is very easy. You just draw it on the white screen. So I just click here on the contours of the building. I create the outer line of the building. And you see after a few clicks I'm finished with that. I close the polygon line that I just created and now we see here something that looks like wall. Dialux automatically changes to the next tool where we can create the story and the building construction. I want to draw now an inner contour because I want to create the rooms and I can do the same procedure. I just draw it directly here on the plan. I've got some useful snap functionalities that helps me to create this room. Once again close this polygonal line and now Dialogs, Dialogs automatically identifies the first room. Well, this is something I have to repeat for each of the rooms. Once again, four clicks, close the polygon line and now we've got here the second room. The third room, I can start from here to here, here and here. Now the entrance area is ready. This is the third room. And finally, here we can see an education room made for seminars, for example. And it's a quite easy one. So I just click here on the four corners of the room. And now we see the ground plan of this building I just created for you. One, two, three, four rooms. And now Let's have a look how we can continue with that. We can look at three dimensions and you see here the walls that are now created just by drawing on the DWG drawing. Well, now we can continue and place more details to make the visualization a little bit better so we can make a nice visualization for our customer. And um, to do so, I like to place now some of the building openings of the windows um, that we can see here on the DWG drawing. And to do so, I open the tool for Apaches and now we can place them directly with the draw functionality. You see here at the moment the door is selected. Uh, we've got here a couple of other building openings. Here we've got the standard window. Uh, now we can just draw this window on uh, the plan. So I click here on the mouse. I make two clicks from here to here. I like to place our standard window and now Dialux places the window inside of the wall. Once again from here to here. Now we've got here our second 
window once again third one as you can see I do not have to start the action again while I'm placing windows Dialux keeps the mode to place windows here is the next one another one on this wall and then finally here we've got our last window now let's have a look once again at the whole building here we can see it in 3d and well those windows should be placed on the floor they're going from the floor to the roof so I can change here the height and the position of the window now I move them to the floor and enter here 2.3 meters for the new height I can repeat this 0 and 2.3 and once again to this window 2.3 meters well now we have got our building and the building openings with the windows and now I like to place some furniture or other objects and the way how to do is the same as I did it with the windows so I've got here the tool for the furniture once again we see here the active object it's a cube at the moment and it's the same procedure as we have seen before in the windows so when we go back here you see the window standard windows here we've got the standard object as I told you before here are some different actions to place our objects lines circles other arrangements and with this button we can select the objects place here is a catalog here you see a list of objects I used in the past it's once again a recent list you can scale this list okay and now you make a decision you tell the program which of the chairs you want to place I keep this one and now I go back to the 2d view because it's easier to place them here and for this example I just place an arrangement roughly I want to place chairs within this rectangular arrangement and now we've got here some of the chairs you can see the number isn't correct on the DWG drawing we see how many chairs are required so I changed the number from to 4 by 4 chairs now the number is correct and I can take now one of those axes and put them to the correct position here and the last one should be placed here All right well the position is now okay with these two buttons I can rotate the chairs until they are placed correctly as you can see it's quite easy to place such a big amount of objects here in Dialux Evo in the next step I like to place a table this one now the active object is the table and now I place just a single table I use the action place individual object click with the mouse there and now we've got our table here I move it to the correct position it's also possible to scale it here is the feature to scale objects you move the mouse on the corners and then you can scale it to the correct dimensions here's our table just a single one as expected now I can use the copy and paste functionality the object is placed at the last position and I can move it to the required place now we have got here two tables I can select both of them make once again a copy of the two tables and now I paste them at the mouse position 
This is the way how to make easy a big amount of objects just with copy and paste. This is a workflow how to place objects, furnitures in Dialux Evo. Okay, let's have once again a look in three dimensions. Yeah, here we've got here our building with the chairs and the tables. Let's have a look at the room itself. Here's room number four, and you can see here the see the tables and the chairs. Okay, I prepared the project for you to make it a little bit faster. We have got now here the complete building with furniture and objects in all of the rooms. We also may have a look in three dimensions. Look at this. This is the way how our building now looks like. You see through the windows inside of the building. You see the tables. You see the glass of the windows. It's also now a roof. I did it with this tool to create roofs. To start the lighting design, I enter the education room where seminars should be placed. And now we can start with the lighting design for this room. So I switch back to lighting. Once again, it's easier to place objects in the ground plan. Well, the way how to place luminaires is similar to the objects and furniture. You see the same actions here, the same way how to select luminaires. This is the recent list of the luminaires, luminaires I used before. You have got here the catalogs of the manufacturers that are installed or which offers online catalogs. So the user can select the catalog with the luminaires he wants to use. And after he selected one of the luminaires, you just drag and drop them. For example, it's another possibility to place single luminaires. And you place those standing luminaires directly here in this chill out zone. You can see them also in three dimensions. You see here the luminaires, the luminaires are just placed. Well, of course, lighting design is a little bit more complex than just drag and dropping luminaires inside of a room. So I select now a different luminaire. I create once again an arrangement from here to here. Dialux offers three by two luminaires. I like to place less of them so I can change here the amount of luminaires. I just place two by two and once again I can drag the axis to make the real position or to the correct position of the luminaires. Okay, this is, these are the places where I like to put the luminaires and once again you see here now the luminaires in the room all placed on the same height. Of course it's also possible to place luminaires in different heights inside the room. Now I select once again a different type of luminaires. In this case I take this one from Vaco and I want to do some um, arrangements here on this line. So I place a line from here to here. Dialogs offers three luminaires. I can change the number again. Now we've got two luminaires. Now I can turn them around. Okay. And this luminaire should be placed at the ceiling, directly at the ceiling. We can check this in three dimensions. You see the second one is flying around. So I can select it again this way, press here at the mounting type on reset and then the luminaire automatically switches inside the ceiling. So the position is recalculated again by dialogues. Here we can edit the joints to aim them directly to, a, to an object, for example this cube. So I press on this action here 
aim the luminaire and then the axis are turned around so the aiming point of the luminaire is set to this position. Once again here on the flip chart, zack, here is now the new position or the new aiming of those spots. Now we come to the last point of our lighting design in the calculation mode. We can start the calculation. You see here the progress bar. I expect around about 1 minute, 1 minute 30 to calculate a building like this. Dilux Evo calculates the whole building at once, including the indoor and the outdoor visualization. And the new program was also optimized to do so, so it's very quick to calculate buildings. Well, there's also the possibility to show intermediate results. After a few seconds we should see the first result. Dialux divides the luminaires inside of our project in different groups and now you see here the result of our first group, the standing luminaires. So we have got a very first impression of our room with the first luminaires and after another few seconds we should see a little bit more because then the main light is calculated. Now we've got 66% calculated. You see the standing luminaire light and the light of the ground illumination. And now we are waiting for the spots, which also takes some seconds. And then the whole result is ready. So we have got here our education room. You can also look at the whole story. And of course we can also switch to the side where we can see how the building will look from the outside. So we have got the visual effect how it looks if you look inside in the building. Now finally I prepared the whole scene for you. If you spend a little bit more time in such a project you can also add other buildings to your project. You can add other objects in the outer room. You can illuminate the ways. You can also create a roadway. So this is the way how you will create your projects in the future and the possibilities how to present them to your customer.